Right, basically I'm starting this video at the end because I wanted to make sure you saw the quest that I'm talking about. That's the quest that I'm talking about. And to get to this point, um, it's not easy. So this is the start of my video. And I shall, this is the end, end boss. But I'm gonna stop filming now because I want to tell you how to actually get to this boss because it ain't fucking easy. Hi, this is Yig, and I'm going to try and help you do the Shattered Dawn Extinguishing the Corrupted Light. Um, you can go on the EQ2 wiki, and there's a quite a good guide on there. But in case you don't want to, because uh, I've done it, and it took me a while, because it wasn't self-explanatory. Uh, anyway, let me just get my nurse in the way. Little Kenny. So first of all, we go in here, and we're going to go in there, and basically the first first bit is quite straightforward. Um, you just kill mobs going all the way up, and there's two named. Well, there's a, there's a named bard, um, which is. Um, up that, up that road he'll heal himself and then you get to the name that drops the horn so up to then it's self-explanatory you just kill everything um, and kill quest mobs and that but there's 13 quest mobs that aren't actually in this zone and that's um, yeah that's what I'm gonna try and help with so I'm not gonna record it all because it will take forever but I will continue recording once I get to the boss that drops the horn so yeah speak to you again soon so the first boss is him over there he's barred and um, he will reheal himself well he has done every time I fought him so I presume it's one of his mechanisms <laughs> oops attacked him. flying horn um, obviously with him now, oh guy So, I will kill these and then I'll the bard. Like the bard is quite straightforward. Just uh, trying to get easier. Take him into this corner. Just here. Um, another thing that he's done this time I fought him. After the regen, he's got a bomb in the bomb, but it's not really that difficult. But yeah, he's quite straightforward. And we're fighting the bar. I might as well record it. Uh, like I say, every time I fought him up to now, regen. We need to kill all the names in a set order. So this one's near the beginning. So rather than recording it going on forever, I'll uh, yep, get back to you when we get to the next name. See, he's regened his health full. Um, some more mobs have popped in. This fight, and yep, I'll get back to you when you're dead. So, after many, many minutes of fighting, the boss has got barred and nearly dead. And depending on what flash he's got, you might want a mana potion for this fight. I don't know if that's the same as AOEs, but 
a guitar at all, and this has always been more my stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm just concentrating on that. Because his house is as that much. So yeah, let's finish him off. Do 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 do. Let's remove this, and I shall continue when he's dead. Okay, so after killing quite a lot of mobs, so there's a lot of killing going on. We've now come to this boss here. Now this one, um, we're gonna pull him. Come here, you. Now be aware that he does a shield move where he'll. He'll spawn shields around him. Just target the shields and kill the shields. And I'll get back to you once he's dead. But this guy is a key person for the rest of the zone. Which I didn't know when I first came in. So, yep, yeah, I will see you when he's dead. So, as you can see, while we're fighting him, he's now done his shields. So, the best thing to do is just try and take the shield out. You've only got to take one of them out. And then they all drop down and then carry on fighting him. Um, hopefully we're near the end of the fight. The thing to remember when you're fighting these names is 9 times out of 10 more mobs are going to be fighting. So it's best to concentrate on taking them out. He's dead. Right, so we've now killed him. So when you loot him, you get. Ooh, that's nice. Take that. Now that key you'll need for a quest that you've probably also got, which I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. There we go. And that. And this horn is the thing that, when you read it, it doesn't really say much on it. So I'll show you what to do with that. What I'm going to do is clear these mobs out of the way first and then I'll show you what to do with the key and we can go and do the horn. So I shall be back in a moment. So the key that we looted is to get in this door um, and then you'd have to talk to this guy for a quest and then you pick up a book that's over here. So that's what the key's for and hopefully now we can go to the destination. I've still got a few mobs, so I've sort of tried just to rush through it. Um, now, here's the stairs. So on the map, we're basically here. And these are the stairs that you go here. And see now we've got a written thing. So let's bring up the horn. Oh, God's sake. And then you blow the horn and now this is the next boss that we have to fight she will chat to these two for a bit and then we fight her and she will she'll kill these two and then she'll fight and then she'll go up in the air when she goes up in the air you'll see a circle on the floor oh do we have to talk to her to start it off right there we go blah 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 and she'll summon skeleton versions of these so just concentrate on her just kill her and when she's dead um we'll loot her and then we'll see where we go from there so back in a bit right so she's now dead good job i didn't record it all because i died like three times um and i found out some important things at the beginning i said oh shiny 
I didn't say anything about a shiny, but I just said a shiny. So, got it. Um, to concentrate on killing her when she summons her warriors. Forget that. Uh, kill the warriors. Okay. Now, another tip. Whatever you do, do not stand this angle. Because she threw me right off and I died. And it was bloody annoying. So, try and stand here. So, if she does, when she does throw you, you'll just hit the wall. Okay. So, that's her down. Oh, is that a bracelet? Yes, I need one. Da, 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 da. So next what we do is we now go to this circle over here, trying to avoid any of the mobs that I didn't. I'm going to get into a fight. Yeah, I'm in a fight. So I'll just do this fight and then we'll get back to it. So after killing her, this door now becomes targetable. And... On your quest, there'll be 13 mobs that you haven't found in the zone. Uh, and they're behind this door. So, you click on the door. And then you get told, blah, 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 blah. Right, but if we turn around. Or, is he there yet? There we are. This is the next mob that we have to kill. Okay. So, we go off and we're going to kill him. But I'll get back to you when the fight's finished. Because it takes forever. So, now the dragon's dead, so, oh, there he is, thank you, and now you can go into the door, and there's, oh, it looks like, what did I do, oh no, we kill these first, but these are the mobs that you need, you need 13 of them, so we kill them, and um, basically you just kill everything in this room and that leads to the next room and then it leads to the last, last boss so I will see you when we get to the last boss and explain how you kill him okay so now we've cleared this room um, let's go and I can this is the last fight now the thing to make uh, to make you aware of is these are all epic mobs okay and i'm gonna do the fight the like the first time i did it so we come and talk to him and once he become right so now we start fighting him Like you definitely want to have a merc if you're not if you're a class without pets. You definitely want to have a merc at this point. Now basically what's happening is make note of these blocks, these uh, chrono players. Just turn these sounds down. I've been turning these sounds up and down all day. Um, because there's something going on, there's something happening, and in a minute, uh, you're gonna see what happens if you just try and fight him. Da, 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 da. Tell you what, I'm so glad that I didn't record this whole video because it would have been like two or three hours long. Um, and I don't understand why people drag videos out just to get you to watch it all. I'd seen them do a quick 10 minute video, get all the points in that you need. Which I think I've done with this video. This is this is the longest part of the video because I want you to see what happens in the fight. Should be happening soon. You should see some writing come across the screen. Hope you're all having a great day. Here we go. All crowners have reached full power. So what happens at this point? Oh, it'll happen any minute now. Come on. Any minute, any minute. Do, 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 do. We are going 
gonna come on <laughs> wait for it wait for it do, 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 do. what's it doing it should have happened by now surely I don't believe this. Is it going to happen now? Yes! Right. So, I've been ported back out and the whole fight's been reset. And this happened to me like two or three times last night. And it was driving me mad. But then, crazy, my friend from Romania, he worked it out. Now, the thing to make a note of is the mobs, but also the chronospheres, right? So, we'll start the fight again. But, this time, uh, you can actually wait until that message comes up. So, we're going to wait for the message comes up. What's happening is these clocks are counting, down, are counting down or counting up or whatever. And at the moment, the chronospheres aren't targetable. Okay? So, all you have to do, and this is why you definitely need to have a merc um, when you're fighting him. Because you need someone to continue to fight him while you do the bit that you need to do um, because once all these four chronospheres reach 100% you'll get that message and then after a short time uh, you'll be ported back out and the fight will reset okay you don't want that do you because you'll be here all day so I do this shit so you don't have to now at some point not yet but at some point uh, the chronospheres will become targetable. So what we're going to do is, once they become targetable, which is after that word come, the word then comes across the screen, just target one of the chronospheres and destroy it, uh, breaking the chain. So, um, but I was panicking last night, so I just kept targeting them until eventually you can uh, you can uh, destroy it. But we're going to wait until the words come across the screen. That'll let us know that they're at the point where they should be targetable. <coughs> um, this whole quest line was doing my head in. <laughs> so let's do. Are there any? Ah, see now. Now they're targetable. So what we can do is target the crone, leave them, fight him, and I'm just going to destroy one of the you, you only you've only got to destroy one of them you don't have to go around doing all of them because destroying one of them will reset the whole thing that he's waiting for he's waiting for them to do whatever they're doing i don't know um at the meantime hopefully my pet and my merc are still fighting him and you just you do this until it becomes untargetable again and then you just simply go back and f carry on fighting him. So that's the key to this fight, you see. So now it's untargetable. Okay. You don't have to worry about the rest of them. You just keep fighting him now. And depending on how much um, DPS you've got, you might only have to do that once. I, I tried everything. I pulled the, the Merc. I pulled the, the Raid mobs thinking that would do it. No. So this is basically how you do it. You just simply... Uh, you can either wait for the message to come across, that, that will let you know that they're ready to be taken out. Or, like me, you can just put your mouse across them until, it until you know, they become targetable and then take them out that way. And as you can see now, uh, his health is continuing to go down and we're not getting ported and the fight's not getting reset. So, I hope this video has helped. Um, like I say, there's, there is a, a half decent uh, guide on the, the wiki, um, but I just thought doing a quick video so you can actually see it and then you'll know. If we look at that, it's still not targetable, so we should hopefully kill him before having to do it again. Um, da -da -da. All I want to do is fly in the new zones. Right, it's saying they've reached full power. Right, so 
we're going to take another one and then rinse and repeat just kill the, the, the clock or the chromosphere whatever you want to call it while your pet and everything carries on attacking him and da -da 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 -da. get that down there we go so it's untargetable again now back to him and finish the fight off so like I say hopefully this has helped you and start uh, the thing that puzzles me is where's the 13 mobs because at the end of doing the whole zone I was still left with the 13 mobs and it's to do with the horn basically once you get that horn and you go to the destination that i've shown you and kill that one that sort of sets the end game into because you can't um open the door. there we go you can't open the door uh without having without killing her you have to have killed her first um, the, and you can't kill her without using the horn so yep Hopefully that's helped you out and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, another shiny. Is it a shiny that I've already got? And it's not. Cool. There we go. Right, so bye for now and thanks for watching.